I say? You just say. Call the meeting to order. I want to call this. You just go pound, pound, pound about three times. Hang on, I got to get this started. And you say I'd like to call our meeting to order. Go ahead. I like to call this meeting to order. All right. Very good. She could be the president someday. All right. We found your replacement, Dave. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) I can't wait. The uh, Lincoln County Board of Education is meeting in regular session on Tuesday, July 30th at 7 p.m. And we are at the county office in Hamlin. Uh, We're conducting the normal business of the Board of Education at this time. This meeting is being live streamed and a video copy of the meeting will be on the board's website within five working days. At this time, I'll ask uh, Mr. Cartwright if he would to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and ask you all to join us. I pledge pledge allegiance allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. No public comment, Amy. All right, thank you. At this time, I'm going to turn the meeting over to Superintendent Frank Barnett for recognition of our guests. Well, I heard a lot of good things about some special young ladies who uh, had, a, had a very good season this year. And just wanted to let you know, as, a, as the Board of Education, we are very proud of you. And we wanted to recognize your achievement tonight here publicly. So this will be on, you can watch this on the website. It's being on camera, so you'll get to see that. So at this point, I got you, got a list of your names from uh, uh, Ms. Roberts. So I want to call you up and have you get your certificates, please. Mr. Davis, would you like to join me? Sure. We have manager Jennifer Lambert. You here? Jennifer, just stand up by here. We'll get everybody at one time. Coach Sarah. Coach Adam Lindholm is not here. Adam Tudor. Jacey Saul. Congratulations, Jacey. Amelia Pritchard. Riley Parsons. Maddie Mills. Brooklyn McCoy. Abigail Harper. Grace Lynn Cadillac Crowd. <laughs> AJ Carter. Campbell. Now, oh. yeah. help me here. Calliope, that's what I thought. <laughs> and Ginger Atkins. To this, excuse me one second there, honey. We also wanted to give you this banner to hang at your field. Mr. Davis, you'll help me here. And if you all wanted to sign this with a sharpie or something like this, you could do so. Go ahead. That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> You took my one. Oh, oh you like All right. So, this is congratulations, Lincoln County Little League, West Virginia, 18 year old, Southern Falls State Champions 2024 from Lincoln County Schools. You don't want to hold it so we can take a picture? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Thank you.
Ready? Good job, girls. Good question. Did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's the most important thing. Good. Very good. 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 This next presentation. All you have to do is look around at our facilities. In the short year that I've been here, I've just seen this, this explosion of things happening around all these different athletic fields. And that is, you know, with no doubt, the uh, Lincoln County Youth Sports Association, uh, the undertaking they've done, all the hard work that they've done to get these facilities and bring them up to, up to shape. And, uh, I would rival them against anywhere else in the state. They, they look good, and I see nothing but great things on the horizon. Uh, I know that uh, there's no way I could thank everybody, uh, know their names, but I, I do know that Josh was the president, so Josh, please come up. Yeah. Oh. These have been weatherproof, so come in, you can hang up as well uh, over on one of your facilities. Or if you want us to print a couple more, we can do that. So uh, just uh, we appreciate everything you've done for the, the these kids and, and the kids with are coming up. And just uh, I, I see that for great things continuing to happen. We really appreciate it. Appreciate it. We, uh, we got a lot more to go, and there's a couple of people that's not here tonight, Michael Ball and uh, Christina Keaton. She's kind of the, uh, the, the general behind this. She's the accountant uh, behind all of these projects, and that's probably the hardest job of everybody. And we appreciate her. We wish they were here tonight with us. But we got a lot more work to do, and uh, we're excited to share some more stuff with you here in the next couple of weeks. So. I just say that I know Josh's mother and she's proud of him. <laughs> I, it takes an organization to make this happen to young people. Uh, it takes hours and dedication, and when you get frustrated, uh, people don't always respect what you do, and but you stay at it, and uh, you're doing that for these young ladies here, and, and I just marvel at all the things that's going on in the county. Uh, it builds the county up when. There's a game when the games are going on over here at this field on Saturdays and on weeknights, people are stopping to eat at McDonald's or Burger King or someplace uh, else, Tudors or Geno's. They're buying gas. Uh, that stimulates Lincoln County. And sports is is got to be what keeps Lincoln County going and makes it grow. And uh, I know Mr. Barnett and the board has plans for growing the county. Uh, it needs support to do that. Uh, I want to be able to see these young ladies playing for a state championship uh, in high school in just a few years. I believe that's going to happen. And uh, it's it's fun and it's hard work. And I congrat congratulate all of you and your parents who support you it's uh, uh you're making lincoln county grow and i appreciate it so thank you all very much thank you we're going to go on with the uh, board meeting you're welcome to stay or you can exit if you'd like whatever you wish to do 
Before they go, I'd like to say, girls, it is a quite an accomplishment. It's a uh, it's something to hold your head up about to say we are the best eight to ten year old girls softball team in the state in of West Virginia. Uh, that's uh, that's something to be proud of, and it goes to show you this: you need to work hard, keep working hard, and and next year you can do it again. Next year, do it again, and like Mr. Bell said, when you get in high school, we'll be able to say Lincoln County State Champion Girls Softball Team. So just keep up the hard work. We're proud of you. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. They're just too cute. Don't they? Place their little pockets. I can't tell them. All right, as we continue with the meeting, uh, I entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the last 16th meeting. I make a motion. Part right. I'll second it. Okay. Mosteller, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Five to zero. Brings us to the administrative section. Do we have any discussion? Mr. Barnett just uh, pointed out to me uh, uh, one of the things on short notice is item I, our uh, high school soccer program is heading to Cincinnati uh, on Thursday to uh, watch a professional soccer game, FC something. I, I know they've had a soccer team there for years and uh, they're going to pay for that out of their funds. Any other discussion? Not, I'll ask for a motion. So move. Wilson. I'll second. Burns. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Bring us to the finance section. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll ask for a motion to approve. So move. Wilson. Second. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Brings us to the personnel section. Uh, I'd like to make a uh, motion that we separate item F6 for a special vote. Do I have a uh, right, second motion. to my motion? I'll second. I make the motion, Cartwright second, uh, to separate item F6. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? And none. All right. Um, we can just go ahead and vote on item F6 while we're here. A uh, motion to approve item F6. Um, Mr. Bell, can I, is this time for questioning or do you need sure. to make a motion? Got a, just got a question. Do any, not just F6, but it is any of these uh, individuals, do we have any formal complaints against any of our, uh, maybe our coaches or anything before we, because some people I'm not sure I know really well. Right. But I'll, yeah, I'll I don't know, know, you know so if there's any kind of formal complaints filed on any of these folks. Formally? No. Formally, okay. Do they, uh, uh, they make an um, like an application to have yeah, these they, jobs. They have to fill out a form 39 from the Department of Ed that okay. goes to it. They do a background check. They do, um, uh, they they pay a fee to have their background checked, and and then they issue them a temporary coaching certificate, and they have to renew that every every year. year. That's why on the a couple of board meetings back, we terminated a bunch of coaches yes. until they got their form 39s yes. in. They have to renew those every, every year before year. June 30. And assistants also assistants are are also. vetted that way too. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right, and they're already employed with us as a, as a whether it's a professional or service, and they don't have to do Form 39. These are basically your parent volunteer coaches. Uh -huh. Sure. They're a lot of it. Some of these are auxiliary coaches, and some of them are actually the head and assistant. But some of them they don't they're not employed with us other than just to coach. Do you, do the do the high school principals and the elementary principals? Do they ever get to interview or meet the coaches that coach at their they particular school? Them. Okay. So they have that option to do that, and to choose it and then do that. Yes. Okay. That's good. Any other discussion? All right. Bring this back to consideration of item F6. All in favor of approving item F6, say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? No. 
And let the record show that Cartwright votes no on item F6. And we have four yeses. All right, uh, brings us to the rest of the personnel section. Do I have a motion to approve? Make a motion we approve. Bob Taylor makes the motion. I'll second. Cartwright seconds. All in favor of approval say aye. 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 Any opposed? And five zero. Comments and concerns? Uh, just bring you up to speed a little bit on uh, what we've got going on now. Uh, there, we have three billboards up in the county uh, for attendance purposes. Uh, try, we partnered with the, our grand families program and the commu or community school program, excuse me. And uh, we're able to uh, get three uh, billboards. And in the spring, we'll change, we can change those to testing. Uh, right now, they're targeting attendance, and it talks about the, the billboard talks about if you miss so many days a month, by the time you're a ninth grader, you will miss a year of school. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just it, it's just something big and eye catching with our new logo on there to try to drive home the importance of, of attendance of, of being here. Um, so th there are three of those up. We have. Uh, uh, today was uh, we, we got everything that I'm pretty sure we have almost we have everything out of Ranger that uh, the Ranger building that we need to have out. Uh, Bill Carpenter is coming down to meet with me on Monday uh, to finalize some things. Uh, we have um, uh, oh, uh, we have a lot of things going on uh, in the academic world. Uh, we have uh, several trainings coming up. Uh, we have our safe schools trainings that are online. Uh, we have uh, our we've met with uh, Jennifer Ashlock has met personally with every principal to institute that program that'll be going. We've improved that from K2. We saw tremendous results in K2. It's now going to go to K5 and K8 through uh, with special education. So she met with every principal individually. So to talk about the, the DEER program that we had last year, and we've instituted a, uh, uh, a remediation period every day in every school uh, for English and math, so that we'll they'll get an extra dose of that. Uh, so I think we're things are looking up. We're, we've got a good plan in place, and uh, it'll be it'll be well executed. We the principals are being trained on look fors when they go into the classrooms. Uh, Mr. Davis and I have put together packets for the principals for our first principals meeting. We have a lot of material to go over with them, and uh, then my team here, as far as the uh, academic team. Have been uh, they've gotten their assignments to to what schools they would be visiting and and so we'll be in a school every day, and uh, just trying to help the principals and the administrators and the lead teachers know what to look for and how to correct any kind of things that any kind of deficiencies they see and what's going on with the pacing and and uh, the delivery of the lessons. So that's where we are there. Uh, do ball still running? They're still they're still clicking up there, moving dirt. Uh, I'm just amazed. You look look up there now, and that that one whole hillside, you know, they've gotten most of it down. It's up to grade now on that on the flat part. If you look where the corner of the trailer is, that's where the corner of the building is. So we're probably talking another 175 feet back into the mountain. Uh, they the the nice general grade they've got up there. I think it looks good. I'm gonna talk to them next week. Don and I were talking about perhaps if we can come somehow get a uh, just a right a right away passage from where it is over to so we can access Garrett's Bend easily, then that eliminates any kind of issue. If there were water to get up on the road, we could still get them out of the school building across Garrett's Bend and, and where they needed to be. So we're going to take a look at that as well. Um, so it's moving along well. The uh, Hamlin HVAC project is not moving as quickly as we'd like for it to, but it's moving. Uh, the uh, Hearts uh, locker room is moving. Mr. Davis and I have been up there about three or four times uh, to, to check on progress. Uh, we we intend on being up there at least once or twice a week uh, to make sure that you know things are moving as they should. Uh, we're looking at next week on next week's agenda talking about an amendment to the CEFP uh, so we can approach the school building authority about trying to help us with a chiller for the high school uh, chiller. Our, we have a 20 year old chiller over at the end of life, <laughs> and uh, so we, we're going to need to replace that. Those are about a half million dollars. Uh, we're looking at uh, a man trap over there in the high school to, to see how we can accomplish that. So that's where we are at this point. I'll, I'll just point out for the sake of the 
new board member, CEFP is the Comprehensive uh, Educational Facilities Plan. And we always have to have one on file and update it periodically. So um, it's our wish list, basically. Right. Just the, the Duval thing. I was on vacation last board meeting. Is everything good with that slip? Yes. They're, they're uh, August the 5th. Well, they're drilling holes now. But August the 5th, they should be coming in and start tying in those that grid and putting the uh, 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 embedded, mesh. For, yeah, protective mesh in to keep that from moving. Uh, they've hit rock on the other side, so we're, we're golden on that side. They're down and it's it's good solid rock. It's not sandstone, so it's not going to go anywhere uh, on the other end. But uh, yeah, everything's... So that didn't go away the project nearly what we thought it was. Well, not as much. It, it's going. It's still going to be a delay. Yeah, yeah. But it, so yeah, they started... Really, they told us November 20th, now they're saying November 6th. But... 2026. Yeah, five, yeah, and you know, it, and that could move. That those are when, when they tell us that so those are uh, yeah. uh, right now worst case scenarios. Hopefully, we can get things. You know, just like the demolition, they were out three weeks early. Right. You know, I was, I was real pleased with them. They they did a banging yeah. job. So they started the pinning process, and they just have to come in with the mesh and yep. connect that to yep. the pin. One of one of my concerns when I drive by there, the original plans that I heard had raising that site eight feet and then it went to 12. It looks to me like it's been raised about 20 feet. Well, that, that's deceiving. If you walk up on there, there's a bowl. That, that's a uh, that's an EPA catch basin. It would be a right protective now. wall of dirt around it. Okay. So you, you walk up and then you walk back down okay. about six feet. So we're not making it not we. The contractor is not making it higher so they don't have to haul off more that No, boat. no, no. Okay. No, it's just, that they just, they're, it's it's like, you know, if you walk up on it, because he and I did the other day, and it's it's like a, like a giant cereal ball is what it looks like. So okay. that that's for, uh, to keep any kind of runoff out okay. while they, while they're doing everything else. So do we know what the actual height of that's going to be? Uh, it will be. Right now, what they say? One, on one end, and supposed on the end closest to the job site trailer would come be raised about fourteen feet. Yeah, and then down on the other end where the post office is, I think it's going to be around nine to ten. Nine or ten? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've just got a couple of things. Uh, board members, you might have gotten an email from the state board association, school board association president Jim Brown, talking mm -hmm. about. Uh, board assessment yeah. uh, that has been completed. That was completed by the old board uh, prior to July 1. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's done. We've got nothing to do on that. Uh, we'll start assessing again, probably. Uh, uh, probably in the spring. And. Uh, then the fall conference, board members fall conference is coming up at the, I believe it's the Marriott. Oh, yeah, I think it is the Marriott. Yeah. And uh, I would urge you to attend that. It's a Friday and a Saturday. Do uh, you remember the times, David? No, I don't. Uh, Jim Brown sent us something today on that. I've got to go uh, to May. The, I believe it starts at noon program. on Friday. Okay. And... Uh, do you remember how long it goes? Till eight that night. Uh, eight 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 yeah, it's a hard day. Yes, that's a long day. And uh, uh, this one, uh, I had talked to Jim Brown because of our financial snafu that we had uh, the spring and kind of still haven't resolved, but feeling a lot better about it. Uh, I asked Jim Brown to have somebody at that meeting to talk about finance as well. As it turns out, most of that first day is going to be on finances. And uh, so that would be a good meeting for you. You've got to get those hours in. How many hours is that day that we have to get in? Uh, you got to get seven in. I thought so. So uh, that one day. I'll I've got we'll mine already. <laughs> I figure. <laughs> uh, but this is a good conference and I'm going to, I'm yeah. going to be at that. I did find out at the board president's conference that uh, the, the State Department of Ed one of their things that they look for for a healthy school system is how much training board members get. 
and uh, uh, just to get a minimum of seven hours, uh, that's what's required. They probably frown on that a little bit. They want you to get a little more, uh, but because it's voluntary, uh, they can't force you to do it, but it, it's good training. And, and as much as I hate sitting in those meetings, I always learn something. Oh. And Daniel, I'll check. I'll check in to uh, get a hold of uh, Mr. Brown and see if your uh, affiliation with Mountain State, some of that could be. Okay. Uh, Each of you under, under new state law also has to take the LSIC training. Kind of We'll send you a link before you can get to it. Do you know when that'll be? Who has to take that? All of us. All four members. When's that? Yeah, I was thinking, about do you know about when, when that's that going to be? a requirement? Do you, I mean, do you know when it's going to be? Because I'm going to need to plan it's for it's that. It's online. Okay. I'll send you a link. Okay, to that good. Just change, they change the verbiage on it about who has to be on it, what members have to be there, and so. Yeah. Okay. And and I've asked Mr. Lucas to uh, for the two new board members to uh, uh, give them a brief overview of their finances, try to catch them up. We we were able to have workshops the last time uh, when when I first came on the board. We'd have workshops during the day and. I had three or four of them actually, and uh, could could do that. But now it's a little more difficult with the number of meetings cut back and uh, board members working. But you now don't work. Well, I do at home. So <laughs> uh, it uh, it's a little more difficult. But Austin's agreed to yeah. kind of fill you all in. They're going to do that immediately after this meeting. I'd also like to bring up at this point. I think it's a good time. Uh, the we have a meeting scheduled for August 20th, Tuesday, August 20th. Right. That is the same night as as the majority of the open houses yeah. here uh, in the county. So I'd like to see that ask that we can move that meeting to Thursday, the 22nd. Uh, same time, but that way that would allow board members who, who have children who want to attend the open houses to do so. And, and Mr. Davis and I as well. To yeah, I'd like to attend some of the open houses. Can you myself. make a Thursday meeting OK? Yeah, it'll be the same as today. Okay. tonight. Yeah. yeah, we can we can do that. Robin gets this meeting schedule set up, and then we change it on her all the time. Robin, when otherwise you wouldn't have anything. Well, to do. when you get um, when you get the times for you know the ones around in here that they're going to have their open house. I'm seven. Everybody's going to do everybody. Okay, that's good. Because I always kind of have a time for trying to. Run that down. Okay. Anybody have anything else? Uh, I went to my first ESC meeting last Wednesday. I found it informative, interesting. So, the only takeaway I had was there's a school safety conference October 16th and 17th. Where, where's that going to be? It'd be at the Marriott in Charleston. Okay. They said board members are encouraged to, to attend. Go if you can. So, do we have to uh, register for that? Uh, that was a question I had for Mr. Barnett. They, they'll they put out a link for that later on. Okay, uh, and you it, can let us know. We went last year. Um, it, it's a really good conference, a lot of good speakers. They had uh, uh, a parent of one of the children from Uvalde was there oh, good. and spoke. Um, then, you know, they have the uh, lot of, there's some FBI agents, some ATF agents that, that come and speak and talk about different things. It's just, a lot of informative stuff. It's uh, it's frightening where you know where we are. Do but our principals go to that? ourselves blessed here in, in Lincoln County. Frank, do our principals go to that? Okay. Anything else? If not, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn until August the sixth at seven p.m. So move. I'll Wilson second. Makes the motion. Burns seconds. The time is 729. All in favor to adjourn, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? We are adjourned.